Hi boys and girls, this is Grandma Sheila, and today's story is called The Happiest Day. Well, Stanley, he was six, and he didn't have a sister or a brother or anybody. He was an only child. Now his mommy and daddy, they loved him dearly. And he loved mommy and daddy dearly as well. He was their one and only. Well, daddy, daddy asked Stanley a question. He said, Stanley, pretty soon here, your birthday's gonna happen and you're going to be seven years old. What would you like for your birthday? Stanley he thought for a minute and then he said daddy I want you to play with me for the whole day from the time I get up till the time we have to go to bed and daddy said well Stanley that's a wonderful thought but I can't Stanley said, you can't? And he said, Stanley, you know that Daddy's studying for some really hard exams. And I have to study all day long. I can't take off even an hour. But someday when all this is done, I'll be able to be with you and play with you all day long. So Stanley said, oh, and then Daddy said, but I thought you wanted an electric train and maybe some motor cars. And Stanley said, yes, I'd like some of those things. But I'd like you with me all day, best of all. Daddy said, one of these days, but not right now. Well, several days went by till it was time for Stanley's birthday. Have you ever woken up in your bed and sat up and went, I know today's a special day. And of course, you'd know what that special day is. And Stanley did. He knew it was his birthday. He jumped out of bed and pulled on his clothes. And he ran down the stairs, just like he was expecting something wonderful. And he was. And he wasn't disappointed. When he got downstairs, he ran to the table and there sitting up on the table in front of his bowl and his plate, there were boxes. Some boxes were little, some were bigger, some were taller, and they were all around his plate. But before he could sit down, he noticed that there was a big wrapped box. I can't even show you how big. But it was a big box and it was sitting on his chair. Well, mommy and daddy were there and they seemed really pleased and they said, Stanley, happy birthday. We're so glad to have had you for a whole seven years. Would you like to open your presents? And Stanley, he, his eyes had gotten all big and he looked at all those presents and he said, all of them for me? <laughs> of course, being the only child, they were all for him. So he started to open. He started with the biggest one. He had rattled it and listened to it. He thought, hmm. So he quickly took off the wrapping paper and the ribbons and there inside was an electric train. 
in hundreds of pieces. Well, he was so excited. Then he opened all those little boxes. Well, when he'd opened the train, he ran around the table and he stuck out his hands and he hugged Daddy ever so tightly. He said, thank you, Daddy, thank you. And Daddy said, it's from your mommy too. So he ran around the table and mommy got one of those big hugs too. Well, after breakfast, Stanley, he picked up that big train box and he carried it downstairs to his playroom in the basement. And Daddy had come down and Daddy was helping him put the transformer together and to get all the pieces out and to put the tracks together. And he just kept working and working. And after he'd been there an hour or more, Stanley went, Daddy, don't, don't you have to go and study your books for that big exam? You've been here quite a while with me, Daddy. And Daddy looked at him and he said, No, I'm going to stay with you all day since that was your biggest wish. Stanley couldn't believe it. Daddy was going to stay with him all day. And they kept working on that train till lunch. And then after lunch, they put all the cars and the engine together. And they put the little switches together. And all of the train track was put together. And then they started running the train. And when they flipped the switch, the train started going round and round and round. Now this was a big train track, but that's what it did. It just kept going round. And then when they switched the switch, the caboose started pulling everything backwards. Of course, the engine was pushing backwards and backwards. Then they switched the switch again and it went forward. And then there was another little switch and they switched that switch. And the train, the whole train went on another train track all day long, even after supper. Daddy played with Stanley. And you know what Stanley did? He stood up and he started to clap. <laughs> this is the happiest day. This is the happiest day of my life, Daddy. And they'd play some more with the train. And Stanley would stop and he'd clap again. This is the happiest day of my life. Oh, boys and girls, this reminds me of something that Jesus promised. Jesus promised one day he would come back to this earth to take us home to live with him up in heaven. And do you know what, boys and girls? Just like Daddy did, Jesus will be with us in heaven all day long. All week, all month, all year. And the Bible says we'll live in heaven for a thousand years. And Jesus will be with us every day. We can talk with him and play with him. And he will teach us things. It will be wonderful. Then, after that thousand years, Jesus will come down to this earth. Jesus and God and all the angels. It says that heaven will be empty. And it will come down to this earth. Jesus 
will step out and he'll look at our earth which will not be pretty then and he'll say let there be light and he will make our whole earth again and it will be the most wonderful and the prettiest place he'll make he'll make the animals and the fish and the birds and he'll make trees and bushes and plants and flowers and we will be the people there we'll get to go out of the city to the houses that Jesus has built for us and we'll get to live with Jesus not for a short time like our lives are here not for the thousand like the thousand years up in heaven but forever and ever Jesus and the angels and God the Father and the Holy Spirit will be with us forever and I am sure all over this new earth there will be hands clapping going this is the happiest day the happiest day and boys and girls we want to make sure that we're there thank you so much and i will see you next week bye bye now